Using Fermat's theorem, find the unit's digit of 3 to the 100th power. So Fermat's little theorem says, a raised to the p minus 1 power is congruent to 1 mod p, where p is prime. So if we let a equal 3 and p equal 5, we have 3 to the 5 minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod 5. So 5 minus 1 can be rewritten, rewritten as 4. So we have 3 to the 4th is congruent to 1 mod 5. We want to get this at 3 to the 100th. Well, I have to raise 3 to the 4th to the 25th power. And when I do that, I also have to raise 1 to the 25th power. 1 to the 25th power is just 1. And then 3 to the 4th raised to the 25th power is 3 to the 100th. So we see that 3 to the 100th is going to 1 mod 5. Now, this tells us that 3 to the 100th can be rewritten as a multiple of 5 plus 1. So in other words, it's either going to end with a 1 or a 6. Now we want to look at parity. So by definition, parity is a property of an integer of whether it is even or odd. So here we have 3 to the 100th power. That's the same thing as multiplying 3 100 times. In other words, we're multiplying odd, odd numbers. So whenever you multiply two odd numbers, you get an odd number. So when you keep multiplying by odd numbers, you end up with an odd number. So the question is, is this... Is a number that ends with one an odd number, or is a number that ends with a six an odd number? Clearly, a number that ends with one is an odd number. So therefore, three to the one hundredth has one as its unit digit.